here you see the finished product. This part here will go toward the cast house. So it's not really necessary to um, have it exactly perfect. But over here it is. I'm going to have to take a nice razor blade and trim some of this stuff off. Okay, so now this will go up to here. And that's how the whole thing will fit. So, with an industrial complex such as this, you can have all sorts of different roof lines. That's what makes it interesting. So now I'm going to cut the openings right in here. I'm going to use something to point for the uh, beams to come through. You only need two beams in the front because the back of the structure is welded or riveted to the structure of beams that are frequently inside the building over here. So I'm going to take and cut these. Make sure that the opening is, is wide enough to get your, your beam through and then measure from the roof here to how high it's going to be over here and that will give you your height from here up to here, okay? So we'll do this on the other side too. It'll fit on both sides. So I'm going to use this as a template over here. And this comes out to three inches right to the end of the floor here. So you take three inches plus the uh, height of the room, which is four inches, and that makes seven inches. So theoretically speaking, I should get the same clearance here. See, I've got both of the beams there, so we're going to take it over and line it up. We're going to mock it up, and we're going to send it over to paint and powder coating. No, not really. All right, to show you that I'm human, I made a mistake. What I did is I measured from here up to the top of here. In reality, I should have measured from here to the top of here, and that's why this don't fit. So. That's why you mock it up and, uh, you know, with me, I cut three times and measure once, so don't do that. But fortunately, when you're mocking something up, you can correct for your errors, okay? Okay, so there you see this here. Let's take a piece of uh, flex track and see if I got the proper clearance. And as you can see, I do. Now the floor is buckled right here. I'm going to take a wooden coffee stirrer underneath and uh, use that to, uh, where am I, I'm right there, okay. And that'll, that'll keep the floor from buckling, okay. So as you can see, there is clearance, but there's not much, which is typical of steel mills. Okay, so now I now I glue the coffee stirrer stick right there. And you can see it's made the floor more secure. And now I got to go back in here and cut this opening out here. Okay, while well the glue is drying, it's a good idea to make it stick real good by allowing it to dry properly, which is something somebody as impatient as I am has a problem with. And then uh, I'm going to go out and finish mowing the grass. And when I come back, this ought to be able to start the uh, painting on there and uh, some super detailing and some trimming up that I have to do and uh, some other details. Okay, so now this is dried sufficiently hopefully and there's some trimming in the cast house I got to do and I'll do that okay so now in the past I've said will this support uh, the stress of the building 
And so frequently what you have to do, you have to have a cross brace of some sort. And then people look inside, you got to have a floor that goes into the uh, Bosch over there where the iron ore would flow from. And here's another example of, of to put a brace. Now, I could put one going down this way. It would accomplish the same thing. Or you can go out an angle. So what happens here is the longer your span is, the weaker it gets in the middle. So, but on the other hand, if you have the beams going upways like this upright, then they're stronger. So what this actually does is it takes the stresses, the load of the structure, and places it over here. Okay? And then over here on the other side, you don't want to put any braces, braces there because that's a, a clearance problem. Okay? So now we're going to go and, uh, that is I'm going to go, and uh, paint the, uh, the structure. Okay, now you see this cast porch finished. these sections of the roof here I can fix that up when I get everything all situated so we're just gonna take a little walk around yes it's 8 o'clock p.m. Now we're going to hold it. We're trying to hold this camera this way. I'm just going to take a little tour going through this way. try something here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these openings here to put the slag track all the way through to the last furnace over there. All right, now I've cut the openings for the uh, slag cars in each one of these. Now I just got to place them to figure out exactly how these are going to go. probably end up moving these back a little bit.
walking tour here.